Luis is cool. That's right. Luis is cool. Remember Luis on Sesame Street? Luis! He was a character on Sesame Street. He, and last I heard, he still is. Luis is still on Sesame Street. He's been on Sesame Street for 40 years. And he's just as cool as ever. Luis. But now, he looks like an old man. That's right. Luis looks like an old man. Because he's been on the show for 40 years. He's been on Sesame Street for that long. Yeah, you, you remember Luis, don't you? You remember how cool he was. So anyway, so, so anyway, that's, uh, that's, that's Luis. And, and, uh, he, he so, he's played by the actor Emilio Delgado. But anyway, I remember on Sesame Street, every time, sometimes Sesame Street would have like a, like a, a, a series of episodes where they would go out of town, like they would go on a trip somewhere, like Hawaii. And I remember, uh, I remember how, uh, there was one year they went to Hawaii. I guess I was probably about four years old when this happened. And, and I think, I think that was the one where, where Luis didn't even go. It might have been a different trip, but I think it was to Hawaii. And Luis, for some reason, for some reason, Luis didn't even go on this trip. They left him back on Sesame Street. Because I remember I was watching Sesame Street during one of the episodes where they were in Hawaii. And most of the characters, pretty much the entire cast of Sesame Street went on that trip. Except that they left Luis back home on Sesame Street. And I remember I was watching it and, and Luis comes on. He's in his fix-it shop. Remember he owned the fix-it shop? And he comes on he says, Hi everybody, I'm Luis. I'm thinking, really? You're Luis? Oh, I, I thought you were Cookie Monster. <laughs> he says, hi, everybody. I'm Luis. I'm back on Sesame Street. I'm thinking, really? You're back on Sesame Street? No, I thought you were in Hawaii. So, so I thought, and it was obvious he was back in his fix-it shop. He says, and, but for some reason, they, for some reason, the rest of the cast of Sesame Street never let him go to Hawaii. Or, or on the any of the other trips, or maybe he did on some of the other trips, but not that one. And so as you see him back in his fix shop, and he says, "Hi, it's me, Luis. I'm back on Sesame Street," and uh, and but what was the point of him staying back in the, in the fix it shop? Because all the only business. You know, the only source of business for Luis and his fix-it shop was the other cast members of Sesame Street. And they were all in Hawaii. So he was just running a business that wasn't doing any business all week. Because the rest of the... Because everybody else was in Hawaii. So there was no point in him staying back home on Sesame Street. But, uh... According to, uh... According to Google, uh, the Emilio Delgado, who plays Luis, he's uh, 73 now. So, but apparently he's still on there. It says he is best known for his long-running role. At, Emilio Delgado is an American actor. He's best known for his long-running role as... As Luis, the, tr the friendly fix-it shop owner on the children's television series Sesame Street. Delgado joined the cast of Sesame Street in 1971 and has remained with the show ever since. Because he was cool. That's what it says on Wikipedia. Because he was cool. No, it doesn't really say that. But I remember another thing about Luis. Uh, it was on Beavis and Butthead. You know how on Beavis and Butthead, they, um... They ran that disclaimer before Beavis and Butthead that says, that says uh, Beavis and Butthead are not real. They're just cartoons. 
I think it was I think it was Luis that did that did that that read that disclaimer. Listen to his voice sometime. It's up on you. There's several different versions of it up on YouTube. There's one of them that sounds like more like a superhero voice. It's not that one that I'm talking about, but there's a different one. The voice of the guy that reads that disclaimer on Beavis and Butthead sounds just like Luis. He does. So I, th I actually think that it's him. I actually think it was a, the actor who played Luis reading the disclaimer on Beavis and Butthead. The one where he says, they're, they're not even real. They're just cartoons. Because his voice sounds just like him. And I remember in sixth grade, there was some kid that was, he, he was, um, this was when I was in sixth grade at Klein Middle School. Some, there was some kid in the literature class. And I, was, I, was, I think that was pretty much the only time I was ever in a class with this kid. And he, 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 started, go, he, he started going to Klein like in the middle of the year sometime. He, so, it was, so I was only in his class for a few months. But he was in my literature class, and, he, and so this was in sixth grade, so he was maybe like 11 or 12. And he was always talking about how he was a, he just loved Sesame Street. He always talked about Michael Jackson and Sesame Street, because he was big fans of both. And he says, he, he mostly it was Michael Jackson that he talked about. But there was one day he was talking about his like TV shows. He says, man, what are your favorite TV shows, man? And he says, he says, I like, uh... Because he was, he was sit, he sat right behind me in literature class in sixth grade. He says, "What are your favorite TV shows, man?" He says, "I like uh, Sesame Street," and I started laughing because we were like too old for Sesame. This is we were like sixth grades. So we were too old for it. And he wrote fan mail to Luis from Sesame Street. He he was a big admirer of Luis, and he wrote fan mail to him. So. And I never saw this kid again after sixth grade, except I think I saw him once. Uh, I saw him once on a tank bus when we were like 15. I saw him. I, I saw him then. But I, I don't think I ever saw him. I might have seen him once since then somewhere, but I don't know. But I, I, and I don't think he has a Facebook page either. So... But we were, we were sitting there in literature class, and he starts talking, and he says... What are, your, what are your favorite TV shows, man? He says, he says, man, I like Sesame Street. And that's what I was, supposed, I think the first one he mentioned was Sesame Street. Sesame Street. So he was still watching Sesame Street when he was 11 years old. But that's the story of Louise.